Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. You guys know what time it is. Time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And for those of you who like these type of videos, please remember to click like down below. Let's keep the likes higher than the dislikes. It would be greatly appreciated. But over to the point. A number of people have linked me a video by Greg O'Gallagher, a.k.a. Ken O'Body, in which he talks about 5% body fat. Now, Everyone made a big deal to me about the 5% body fat of him talking about it being great for getting girls. Um, and he states up front in the video that he knows he's going to catch some flack for the video. But the reality is the 5% was only mentioned one time in the entire thing. The video was more about getting lean and attracting girls for guys who are very, very social and outgoing extroverted people. Okay, and so we really have two different topics, don't we? Two different topics, and everyone who wanted me to address it wanted to talk about the 5%. All right, I actually agree with Craig on more things than we disagree on. He and I have had conversations. We've had plenty of back and forths. Um, he's made videos even addressing me. He's posted in my comments. We've, we've talked back and forth. Greg and I probably agree on 90% of basic philosophies, right? We, we probably agree on 90% of things. There's far, far more that we agree on than we disagree on. But I'm going to talk about the 5%. Greg, I like your brother, but that's pure marketing and you know it is. And I get it, man. You're running an extremely successful, lucrative business. You've got to come up with new ideas and keep pushing the envelope to make that next million dollars, brother. I get it. Uh, you've got to keep your fans engaged. But let's be honest here. Greg, you are not anywhere near 5% body fat. You're about 9 or 10% in the video in question, which is very, very, very lean. Okay. Let's be realistic here. Most guys, when they think of, oh, I want to get really lean and, and quote, aesthetic, they're thinking 9 to 10% body fat. Okay, that, that's actually what they're thinking of. And, and quite frankly, that will do everything that you were talking about doing. All your topics about all this stuff of the leanness, uh, the body fat you were talking about would be 9 to 10%. That's what you are there. That will give you all the facial stuff and everything that you're talking about. Hey, there, there's no reason to go below that. And let's just be realistic here. 5% body fat is not sustainable. You cannot have sex on 5% body fat. Okay, let's, let's go back and clarify that point. Why are you talking about getting women at all at 5 or 6% body fat? Men cannot even reproduce at that body fat without exogenous hormones. Okay, if you're completely natural, you are generally incapable most men are going to be physically incapable of the act itself. And they're not going to be interested anyways. Your libido completely disappears at that point. So I, I don't know why we're even talking about that. Well, let's be realistic. You can't stay there. You're not going to care about women. And you're going to be lethargic, tired, and basically be half dead anyways at that point. Like, like no, nobody does that. Uh, so at that point, brother, you, you, you drop that idea. You know that's not going to work. You know it's not sustainable. Now, let's get over to the point. Let's talk about where Greg is now, that 9-10%. Because for his purposes, that works. But I think people need to grasp the point he made. Let's come back over to the point. If you are not an extrovert, you are not going to make yourself an extrovert. Okay? He is talking about very social extroverted people. And that 9-10% to body fat with a good physique is nothing magical about it. It is basically plumage. That's the way to describe it. It's called peacocking. Uh, that's the term I've always heard it put out many, many years ago. Uh, when you look at how guys pick up girls and things like that, and guys who get lots of girls. And people can say whatever they want about me. You guys can have whatever opinions you want about me, but there's enough information about my private life that's out there. It's very obvious I have never, ever, ever had any problems getting girls. Okay, Not a problem I've ever had. I do know a little bit about it. I don't ever want to make my channel about it because I think it's quite, frankly, I think it's a topic for ignoramuses and con men to actually market. Okay? Either you know how to get girls or you don't. And the internet and pickup artist advice on doing so is, is quite frankly makes you a loser if that's what you're pursuing. Uh, you want to get girls be active, socially active, and talk to them, okay? Be confident. Now, let's come over to the point. Can training make you confident? Sure. He made the point, well, certain guys, maybe it boosts their confidence. Okay, fine. But if a guy doesn't have any confidence already, just getting lean is not going to make him confident. It is icing on the cake for a guy who is already extroverted and confident. 
The problem we have is that the majority of guys who end up going for the rip look buy into all the internet standards and all of a sudden their confidence goes down. The problem is that 80% of guys who pursue the aesthetic stain lose confidence as a result of it, unless you're injecting your confidence. Now, you can get confidence in a bottle. It will also help make you lean, but we're not going to go there. Uh, they lose confidence because they get caught up in this whole idea. Like, I can tell you right now the number of guys who come over and even discuss my physique. That's a, a mark of no confidence. Like, when you're coming over insulting other men who have confidence, I have no problems. I don't care. I've got loose skin from being 100 pounds overweight. I don't have a perfect physique. I train in running shorts with no shirt. I don't care. Like when you're insulting other men who are confident, that's a dead giveaway that you got a body image disorder. And if you have a body image disorder, I don't care how good your physique looks, you're going to get zero pussy. You're going to get zero pussy if you have a body image disorder. None. You're done. You're screwed. You need to go see a therapist or you're never getting laid again. You're done. Uh, it's not going to, it's the worst thing you could do at that point to worry about your physique. That's the problem. These guys get physique obsessed. And the moment you become physique obsessed and you, you start to lose confidence and you develop body image disorders, you're done with women. You're not getting any. Because it's impossible to be confident when you have that issue. It's the confidence that it brings that helps the guys. Okay, it's the confidence boost. It's not the physique. Because anything else would do the same thing. I can tell you right now, I've observed over the years that, you know what, a guy who's actually the bigger, stronger, boofier look. The guy's like me, okay? Guy's like me. Guy who's 15% body fat but carrying 30 pounds of extra muscle, 40 pounds of extra muscle with it. That guy, if he's confident and outgoing, does just as well. Do you know why? Because both strategies work. And a lot of women like the bigger, burlier guy. A lot of guys like the leaner guy. Guess what? Let's come over to the point. Different women like different things. Okay, all right, guys. Let me ask you a question. Some of you guys like different types of women, right? you got a preference. Maybe you like Asian girls. Maybe you like white girls. Maybe you like brunettes. Maybe you like blondes. Maybe you like big butts. Maybe you like small butts. Okay? See where I'm going with this? You're attracted to different things more than others. Women are the same way. They have different preferences, right? There are women who will not, will not date a guy who's got ripped abs. There are women who will not date a guy with a beer belly. That's what they both exist, and there are tens. There are solid tens in both categories. Welcome to the real world. You want to know what it's about? It's about that you have something that makes you stand out. You have something that makes you stand out to be slightly different from the other guys there. If you're outgoing and you have plumage, in this case, a guy who's really ripped and he's got the great facial aesthetics and everything to go with it, or the guy who's, who's bigger and, and more jacked and burly and some women like that, or the guy who just shows up at the, at the place with a really unusual hat. I have seen a guy pick up a girl who was confident, outgoing, and social because he wore a ridiculous hat. Not necessarily a Santa Claus hat, but the guy had on a ridiculous big old hat and was talking to girls and they loved it. Watched him leave a party with one before that way, just because of his hat. Do you know why? Because he had something that made him stand out. That's it. That's all it is. You just stand out. If you're confident and you stand out and you're not afraid to talk to girls, Okay, it's not that the, the, the lean is magical. It works. It's a viable strategy. I'm not going to say it doesn't. It's one of a dozen different strategies. It, it all works. But the main point is that you have to be social and you have to be confident. Okay, Because the social confident guy who's 300 pounds with a big old beer belly still gets girls. Hopefully you guys realize that. If you don't realize that, you're not very socially outgoing and you don't go into a social environment very often or you would have seen it happen already. The point is, it helps you stand out. It's just, it's peacocking. That's what it is. It's, big, it's plumage of some type like the peacock's big feathers. Okay? And I'm going to go on a limb and say that Greg's Lamborghini 
Craig and Blue Lamborghini probably is a better better peacocking to girls than the abs are. I'm just going to call it like it is. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.